be having sort of a three to four day onset of symptoms of shortness of breath, perhaps cough and kind of like bronchitis type symptoms. And, and they're not listening to the neighbors, not listening to people who say, did that work for you? Yes, it worked. Oh, what about the kids? Well, yeah, okay, the kids try it because kids, teenagers try things, it's what they do. But now they're not addicted to tobacco. Well, vaping in and of itself is successful because of the culture. So one of the greatest things that people neglect to see in all the arguments they hear about of all the news and everything, right? Why doesn't the gum work? Why doesn't the patch work? Why doesn't nicotine replacement therapy work, right? Because it's not necessarily about the nicotine. You inherently develop a culture, right? And in that culture, there's people that have already successfully quit. Because most shop owners are people that have you know, stopped smoking because of vaping. So you're talking, oh, it worked for me, it worked for me. Well, try this, try that. And another guy goes, he goes, oh, hey, that worked for me. And, then, and now you have a culture, right? And then people started doing cloud competitions, right? They started doing tricks. And it was fun. It was a way to bring people together to, to advertise the store, right? But it was always in the idea of we're quitting smoking. We're, we're, we're doing less harm to ourselves than we are now. There's a few of the younger people that do come in. Um, and I see them, they're like, you know, they want the high neck, they want the quick buzz, but they only do it for the weekends, right? They get the things and they're 21, 22, they're just doing it because either they're, usually what they're doing is they're trying to prevent themselves from smoking, right? Because they they're going somewhere where they have a lot of cigarettes. Like I said, anybody who's smoking to be cool that is that young doesn't come to my store. They go to the corner stores somewhere because I won't serve it. So kids do it because A, you get a head buzz out of it. B, because it's cool. Why? Well, ask any teenager, what do you want to do? You want to be taken seriously. That's all they want to do. They want to be treated like an adult, right? So what do they do? They do what only adults can do. They drink beer, they smoke cigarettes. Oh, they're addicted to nicotine. Okay, well, here's a good example for you for nicotine. I knew a guy who was vaping six milligrams. So I hadn't seen him in about six months. I seen him, I didn't see his vape. I said, hey, what are you vaping? He goes, well, I don't vape anymore. I said, no, you quit. He goes, no, I forgot. He goes, yeah, I went to work one day. I forgot I didn't even have my vapor. So I just didn't bring it. Really addicted to nicotine, that is. You know? I said, you ever forget your cigarettes? Hell no. Back in 2017, when they said there was a big youth vaping epidemic, you know what the smoking rate was among uh, 12 to 18 year olds? It was such a low number by Stats Canada that they had to put an asterisk beside it to say it's not statistically reliable. You're welcome. We just solved the youth smoking epidemic, which is the problem, right? Vaping is not the problem.